You know those moments when you wish you had an assistant who could do it all? I'm talking about planning your projects, writing the code, designing the look, editing the videos, and somehow remembering everything you've ever talked about, even months later. Well, that's no longer a wish. It's here. And it's called Minimax Agent. This thing might just be the most ambitious AI release of 2025. I'm going to break down exactly what it is, how it works, why its memory is absolutely insane, some real-world things you can actually do with it. So, what is Minimax Agent? It's built by a company called Minimax, based in Shanghai, founded in 2021. And instead of being just another chatbot, this thing is basically a multi-tool for your digital life. It's multimodal, which means it can work with text, images, audio, and video. It can hook into tools like GitHub, Slack, and Figma. And it doesn't just answer, it actually plans and executes multi-step projects. Picture having a project manager, a software engineer, a designer, and a researcher, all rolled into one AI. Now, here's where it gets wild. Under the hood, Minimax Agent is powered by something called the Minimax M1 model. This isn't your average large language model. It's a hybrid mixture of expert system with a 1 million token context window. Okay, let me translate that. Most AIs can remember a few thousand words at best. Chat GPT-4? about 128k tokens. Minimax agent? Nearly eight times more. That's enough to keep the context of an entire novel or months of your conversations and still respond like it was all fresh in its mind. And the use cases? This is where things get fun. Need a full stack website? You just describe it. It builds the back end, the front end, and even deploys it. Want a creative media package? It can write a script, generate matching images, and even create audio or video assets. Got a massive research project? Give it a topic, and it'll dig through the data, summarize it, and present it in a polished report. In any language you need, it can even act as your personal productivity partner. Scheduling, emails, drafting proposals, the whole nine yards. Minimax calls it a super companion, and I kind of get why. This isn't just chat and forget. It remembers you, your preferences, your projects, your style. And because it's multimodal, you can talk to it by text, voice, images, even video calls. But hold on, let's be real. An AI this powerful? It raises some big questions. Privacy is a huge one. Long-term memory means it's storing a lot of your personal and project data. Then there's reliability. Can you really trust it to make decisions without supervision? And of course, bias. When it's acting on your behalf, Whose values is it using to make those choices? Minimax says they've built strong safety protocols, but like with any cutting-edge AI, you need to decide where your comfort zone is. If tools like Minimax Agent take off, we might see a future where every person has a persistent AI partner, businesses automate entire departments without losing context, and creative collaboration between human and AI becomes the norm. And remember, this is just version 1. Minimax Agent doesn't just give me a wall of text. It actually plans the slides, highlighting key points like cost savings, automation, and scaling. Then it generates a clean presentation draft with suggested visuals. That's the difference. It's structured, it's task-oriented, and it feels like handing off work to a real assistant. And it doesn't stop at presentations. You could ask it to write and deploy a full-stack web app. You could feed it a 100-page research paper and have it summarize and translate it. You could generate marketing assets images, scripts, even audio, or you could simply use it to manage your productivity like scheduling and emails. The point is, this isn't just a chatbot, it's a Swiss army knife for knowledge work. Minimax M1, the world's first open-source large-scale hybrid attention reasoning model. In complex, productivity-oriented scenarios, M1's capabilities are top-tier among open-source models, surpassing domestic closed-source models and approaching the leading overseas models, all while offering the industry's best cost-effectiveness. Minimax M140K and Minimax M180K achieved excellent scores of 55.6% and 56.0% respectively on the SWE Bench Validation Benchmark. This performance is slightly below DeepSeek R10528's 57.6%, but significantly surpasses other open weight models. Leveraging its million token context window, the M1 series excels in long context understanding tasks, not only outperforming all open weight models, but also surpassing OpenAI 03 and Claude 4 Opus, 
ranking second globally and trailing only slightly behind Gemini 2.5 Pro. In Agent Tool Use Scenarios, Minimax M140K also leads all open weight models and outperforms Gemini 2.5 Pro. It is noteworthy that Minimax M180K consistently outperforms Minimax M140K across most benchmarks, which fully validates the effectiveness of extended computational resources during testing. Detailed technical reports and complete model weights are available on official Hugging Face and GitHub accounts. The VLLM and Transformer open source projects provide their own inference deployment support. The first pricing tier is more cost effective than DeepSeek R1, and the second tier is not supported by the DeepSeek model. So, what do you think? Is Minimax Agent the start of the true AI era, or just another overhyped tech fad? I'll be testing it over the next few weeks on real deep work projects, and I'll share my results right here on AI Ledger X. If you want to see what happens when you give an AI total creative freedom, hit subscribe, tap the bell, and let's explore this together.